Hey everyone, guess what? Stuart Little's back! And he's got issues. <laughs> We're gonna fix it today. Get down, 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 down. Turn it up! So the car you've all been waiting for, Stuart Little is back. But he's also got some issues. What do you expect to have a cheap car? So, in a previous video where I showed you this car, the car's got around 238,000 miles now. I've driven it a little bit, but it's got a coolant leak under the hood. So, I'll show you that coolant leak real quick. So, it turned out, which I know there's a, an oil leak, it's a valve cover. I'll change that another day. But, our culprit today is this heater hose, which... I've already got a new one. So it costs you around $20 at the parts store. Which is hilarious because so far everything on this car has cost $20 a part. I love it. So what that's going to do is replace that part for right there. So I'm going to stop this real quick and grab the tools we're going to need to replace that. Be right back. Okay. So I got the clamps off here. Pulled that one from back here over to here off of the hose that's underneath that rubber hose. Down here, I didn't record me removing it because somebody thought it was funny to put the this piece, the clamp beam part, facing down so you can't reach it. So I, I guess somebody thought that'd be funny. So it took a while to get that one off. So now I'm getting ready to pull it off. And a good thing to know is, well, here's the tools you might need for that. So just, you know, channel locks, a pair of pliers, and I got a knife out here, just a utility knife, because if these hoses don't come off very easily, which I doubt they will, they've been on here since probably 93, then what you'll do is gently cut the hose a little. That way you can loosen it up. So, I'll come back when I get the hose off and show you the results of that. <laughs> okay, real quick, here's a tip. <laughs> when you're pulling these hoses off, be gentle. I, I pulled a little too hard and I had a face full of coolant. It, it splashed everywhere. I had to go in the house and you see I'm a little wet still. Uh, just be gentle when you're pulling the hoses off so you don't splash it on you. If you do get any on you, just go wash it off. You'll be fine. If you get it in your mouth, don't swallow it. It's poison and it tastes freaking awful. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'll be back in just a second. Okay, hose is off. So here's the old one. And as you can see, I did cut the two ends. If it won't come off, if you're sitting there twisting back and forth and it won't come loose and you're gonna throw the hose away anyway, just take a little knife and give it a little slit right there. The minute you do that, release pressure and you can twist it and pop it right off. Works every time. So this thing had a coolant leak. You couldn't see it from the bottom, but there it is. There's the whole problem. This seems to be a common issue on these Miatas. They always have a little pinhole, but of course this is, what, 25 years old? So yeah. It's done pretty good for that many years. So here's a new one. So what I'm gonna do is take the factory clamps, both of these, stick them on the new hose, and then we're gonna put it back on. Let me show you where it went. Also, be very gentle when you are pulling it off this, because that is, I think it's brass or something. So if you're trying to take pliers to it, please don't do that, you will bend that tube up and you'll have big issues so but that tube down there I don't know if you can see it see if we can nope it's getting fuzzy <laughs> yeah that's just like a steel tube so you can just put it right back on that and once you connect that or once I connect that I'll show you what it looks like so here you go here's the new hose with the factory clamps so if you're wondering how easy it is to put those on, you just take a pair of, I think they call these side cutters or just pliers, 
just get a pair of pliers. Put them on here, clamp it down, and see? So easy, very easy to slip on and off. So now, so now that I say it slips on and off, I bet it won't go on easy. So we'll just take the hose and see if we can, there we go. Wow, that actually went on pretty easy. I hope this one's the same. We don't want a 50 minute video. <laughs> and there we go. Just slip it on like that. There you go, now the hose is on. You'll take your pliers, grab the clamp, bring it up. I gotta grab it again. Bring it up here. There we go. It's on there. So now let's get the bottom one real quick. If I can. Yeah, it's gonna fight me. There we go. And it's on. Let me take this off the tripod and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So there you go. It's a little dirty. So reconnect it down here, reconnect it down there. Remember, please leave that clamp on the top. Don't stick it on the bottom. Don't be that person. Make it easier for the next person. It might have to replace it one day. I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of oil. We'll change the valve cover soon. We replaced a spark plug, spark plug wires, and some other stuff. Get it running better. So that's it. Once you're done with that, next thing you would do is open your radiator. Get a funnel that fits it. Fill that up. Run the car for a little. Get air bubbles out. Turn your heat. While you're doing it, turn your heat on full. That way there is coolant flowing through those lines and filling your heater core inside the car. And remember, air bubbles in your system are a bad thing. So, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed Stuart Little's little fix here. See you next time. Okay. Don't forget, if you liked my video or any of my other videos, hit the like button. Don't forget to share also. If you like it a lot, subscribe to the channel. So, till next time.